Well, hi there. Call them, a.k.a. the bloated post-vacation dad bod uh, wizard here. I hope you're doing very well wherever it is that you may happen to be. I'm doing okay. Thank you very much for asking. But I have had to put several uh, large rocks in my pants to stop my bloated ass from floating away. Uh, I've just been on two weeks holiday. And I got to be honest with you, I feel rougher than I did before I left. Um, basically, uh, I was a butler to a jet-legged toddler for two weeks moving all over the place five flights two countries um, it was a good time but it was a long time and uh, let me tell you there's no better feeling than getting back into your own goddamn bed and your own goddamn home however humble it may be anyways i hope that uh, you guys out there are having a good summer holiday maybe let me know if, if you've done anything interesting in the comments below and if it's not interesting i will read the comment but I will read it with scorn. If you waste my valuable time with your boring anecdotes, I will appreciate them anyways. All kidding aside, um, I, I got a very nice comment from a user named Suze Gragon. Um, and she wrote, Hi Colin, I've been revisiting your ghost reviews. I love how much thought you put into the reviews. And even though I don't agree with every one of your opinions, I can totally see where you're coming from. And I love your insights into the music. Have you considered reviewing Zenith by Ghost? It's not on any of their albums, but you can find it here on YouTube. Love to hear what you think, since this is a song I have on repeat right now. So Susan, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. And on that note, um, I rolled over... 1500 subscribers to the channel and i just want to thank everybody who's taking the time to watch my videos and subscribe i really appreciate it it's fun um i don't know what we're working towards but we're working towards something here maybe two two thousand maybe i'm gonna have a a celebration show at, at 2000 like i promised i would at 1000 but never did i think i i promised i'd wear a juggalo painter something like that anyways tune in or subscribe if you'd like to see that so um susan i am going to check out um Z zenith and uh, i did a little looking into it and it, it seems it's a bonus track off of mayoria or something like that and you shared a link that goes to a guy who's uh, recorded it on vinyl for us to listen to on youtube and the user's name is jasic Ignaziak, and I'm sorry if I absolutely butchered that name, but thank you very much for putting this up. And I'm going to put a link to his channel and his this the video that I'm going to show you here so you can watch it yourself if you feel like it. Anyways, thank you very much for the suggestion. Um, I do take requests here on the channel periodically, uh, if I damn well feel like it. Anyways, let's get right into it. This is Ghost, an unreleased bonus track, Zenith on the Tone, 98 point. God damn it, I am bloated. It. I like the feel of the track so far. We conquered the magic. We counted the stars. This kind of has like a decipher the clockwork. Ghost meets Tom Petty vibe to it. Yeah, it kind of feels like uh, that refugee song by Tom Petty a little bit. The, 
upbeat feeling and then they just jump back into full ghost. Well, this is a good vibe. Pepper piano in the background there. Now we're going to Rob Zombie territory. My neck's still sore from the flight. I'm limbering up again. That little, that little synth warble. You know, on one of the flights with my son, we hit some turbulence, and I was in the washroom changing them up on the shitty little change table above the toilet. This reminds me of that turbulent moment trying to wipe his little ass. But I got there in the end. Okay, well, that was the bonus track, um, Ghost Zenith, um, recorded on vinyl, I think, by this very generous YouTube user, uh, Jeshik Ignaziak. And, and, you know, if there's awards for pronouncing people's names wrong, I'm, I'm surely going to get one of those. But thank you very much for that. And thank you very much to Suze Gragan for sending that in. I did enjoy it. Now, what you said in your comment kind of hits home here um, when you said, I don't agree with every one of your opinions. And that's kind of what makes the channel interesting. You know, a lot of people disagree with what I say on the channel. And a lot of people take the time to constructively say how they disagree and give their own opinions. And that's why I like doing the channel. Now, further to that point, um, your comment came in on my Ghost Infestium album review. I did enjoy that album. However, I didn't enjoy it as much as I, I enjoyed their first album. And subsequently, I did get into Maoria, which I believe is the next album. Pardon me, I'm a little foggy here. But anyways, I did I did listen to that album quite a bit. And what I would have to say is I, I don't know if I enjoyed it enough to give a real thoughtful 
um, review of the album. Just just to be perfectly honest, and I think that what I have to do is move on from that album. Um, what I enjoyed about the first album so much was the songs. I thought the songs were great. I think it didn't really matter to me that it was a metal album. Like, I, I'll listen to any band if they have great songs. It doesn't matter what the genre is. There's certain genres that I don't really listen to, but I can generally get into stuff if there are just genuinely, undeniably good tracks. And the tracks on May Area are interesting. There's a couple of bangers on there. I kind of have to re revisit it, but... I just thought that I didn't enjoy it enough to give a constructive review. Now, do I, I don't, I'm not saying that I only want to review albums that I like on the channel, but it helps me do a better job. And I'd rather spend uh, time talking about stuff that I do generally enjoy. Now, that being said, I did enjoy that track. Thank you very much for sending it in. And it kind of pulled back to the first album and parts that I liked about in, in, where I could hear elements of outside influences that weren't necessarily specific to metal coming in there. So I did enjoy the track and I enjoyed the breakdown. This The last breakdown, which was like kind of a winding, galloping drum thing. And those little, little, little keys were just peppered in there. I liked it. And I liked the left turn that they used that they brought in with the uh, that big synth warble. And so anyways, thank you very much for the track. I did enjoy it. And you know what? I think I either need to revisit Maori and decide if I'm going to do a full review of that album or I just need to skip on and go right to the next album. And I think that might be the best idea. But thank you very much for this track. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe, like the video. If you don't, you don't have to either. I'm, I'm not here to tell you what to do like so many other bald guys on the internet. Anyways, thank you for watching. Take very good care of yourself. I should have a couple more videos coming out uh, over the next week because I'm back and I don't have a lot of friends.